Today on this Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the most amazing Texas sheet cake. I've taken my super famous recipe for the most amazing chocolate cake and turned it into a Texas sheet cake delight. You are going to love it. To start, you'll want to preheat an oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a 13 by 18 inch sheet pan. The cake batter is all made in one large mixing bowl. It starts with two cups of all-purpose flour, followed by two cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And you'll wanna whisk this all together. I don't recommend using Dutch processed cocoa for this. You wanna stick with the regular unsweetened kind. Then pour in one cup of buttermilk, and you definitely wanna use buttermilk when making a Texas style sheet cake. You'll also need one cup of warm water, a third a cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we'll crack in two large eggs. And then we'll whisk this together until the batter is nice and smooth, which will take a few minutes. Make sure you scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl so everything gets mixed in. Then we're gonna pour this directly into our sheet pan. The batter should spread out on its own and cover the entire bottom of the pan. Then we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Remove your cake from the oven and let it cool on a wire rack for 15 minutes before you start making your frosting. Texas sheet cake is all about that cooked ganache-like frosting on top. Melt half a cup of salted butter in a saucepan over low heat. Once the butter is melted, add in a third a cup of cocoa powder, and you wanna whisk this in until it's all dissolved into that butter, which happens really quick, you can see. And then pour in a third a cup of buttermilk and you're gonna bring this mixture just barely to a simmer over medium to medium high heat. You wanna whisk it the entire time it's over the heat. Once it just starts to simmer, you'll wanna turn the heat off and pour in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then slowly add in three cups of powdered sugar and whisk in between additions. You'll end up with a nice, thick, but pourable frosting. Just pour the frosting right over the cake. The frosting is warm, the cake is still warm, and the frosting will just spread right over the top. You can use a rubber spatula to spread the frosting out to the edges. Of course, nuts are always optional, but for a true Texas sheet cake, you gotta have either pecans or walnuts. And that's it. Let the cake cool completely before slicing. You are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my video recipes, where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home.